it's extremely important for schools to prioritise children's well-being and emotional health. The children can achieve so much more when they are emotionally well and self-aware. It's really important for us making sure that we give children the tools to be able to cope in situations that they might find challenging and develop an awareness of their own emotions so that they're able and ready to learn and thrive. I think it's important to teach students about resilience because it helps them to be braver and more confident in their future. IMHAS is a programme run by Southwark Council which gives funding to schools to improve the mental health and resilience in their schools. We've found that the IMHAS funding has already made a huge difference. We've been able to run programmes that have really helped us target individuals that were at crisis point and families that we knew were struggling. We see that the children have developed a greater sense of resilience. We found their communication has really improved. Their behaviour with each other is much better and they're developing a better understanding of their own emotional well-being. Our whole school approach in improving mental health and resilience is not just about the PSHE curriculum, but it's also the way in which we teach in class. Up until 100, are we ready? Yeah. Go. Put it back. 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 We have a really collaborative approach. We have implemented an art therapy programme with four schools, three within our federation, which is St Jude's, St Peter's and Peter Hills. And we also have a fourth school at Charlotte Sharman. The idea is that we use the art therapy to work with children who may be finding that they have barriers to learning. And then we're going to go to a class and then next week we're going to do some painting. Yes. We use cooperative structures to build communication uh, and help children to be good listeners and develop those social skills. We have lots of groups and squads across our school. We've got the Wellbeing Warriors and they are a group of children that are chosen termly and they just walk around the playground, they get on with their own play but they also look out for those children that may be looking a little bit lonely, maybe a bit upset and if they feel they need to get an adult they come and get us. Our Year 6s are doing a weekly confidence club and that is where they get to ask difficult questions in a safe environment. Confidence club is to keep us safe and about our, about our well-being and we talk about topics that sometimes people don't want to talk about at home. We talk about um, different body parts and how it works and how your growth works. We have our health and wellbeing room every Wednesday, which allows the children to come in, do some lovely activities, yoga, reading, sensory activities. What is a sensory board? So a sensory board is a board with all different textures on it. So do you see we have all these different materials that we're going to use? And then you can touch them. Or just an opportunity to talk to me about how they're feeling, and if they have any worries or concerns. We've got a huge investment in our uh, physical well-being of children. Can you spread it? Oh, don't give up. Play, play on. P and sport is so important because when you're healthy, you're happy. When you're healthy, you're focused. When you're healthy, you think you can do more. All right. Oh, play on. Can you get a shot? Can you get a shot? We do have a wide range of activities. We have all sorts of sports clubs, all sorts of different lessons in PE. There's also lots of after-school clubs that the children can do. There's something for everyone. There's dance, gymnastics, football, basketball. We've had a big push with the Daily Mail. We've really got into that in a big way. The whole school gets together as a community at the beginning of the day. Stop, no walking, let's go. Last minute, no walking. And it's done so much for their self-esteem. Everyone give the pacemakers a clap. All right. We have a therapy dog, Phoenix is her name. She works with our children, she reads with them, she works a lot with the children who display challenging behaviours. Children understand that they need to respect her and they need to worry about how she's feeling and is she scared and they have a sense of looking after her. Through as lazy. What do we do get from 
the introduction that can tell you the role of parents and carers is pivotal in supporting the work we've been doing around emotional well-being and mental health. We find that the stronger the relationship with the parents, the more we're able to intervene early when there are or may be issues that arise. During the pandemic, I would get um, phone calls from the teachers to make sure that my son was OK, that I was OK, that my other son was OK. As our relationship has improved with the parents, our relationship with the children has also improved. School's really good at communicating with us. We have a text system. We have the website, which is updated all the time. We have Twitter, where we can keep in touch. And also the teachers wait out at the gates each morning and each afternoon. So if you've got any questions, you can speak to them. We have a huge investment in our staff training. This is um, a staff training on resilience. So it's about helping staff to understand how we can improve the mental health and resilience in children in our community. This is something we really want to help teach our staff so they can deliver it in their lessons. It's about looking at what you already do really well through the lens of resilience. And Well, you guys were amazing. Give yourselves an Eskimo cheer. Brilliant! We want children to thrive. We want children to leave school with a really strong sense of well-being, with confidence and resilience. We want that to be something that takes them further in, in their life and, and their ongoing schooling. So for us, it's about creating a community that puts emotional well-being and resilience at the top of what we do.